I'm excited to be back together with the team and with the new head coach and just see where we can go. Uh, just excited to build off last year. We made a pretty deep run in the playoffs, but hopefully we can build off that. I'm just excited to be able to play and get back out with all of my friends. Haven't been able to do it for a while. Yeah, kind of like what he said, I'm, just, I'm excited to get back out on the court with all of our, our guys and compete and uh, hopefully get a state title this year. Um, having a lot of seniors that like, and all wanting to be there, I think we have really good chemistry together. We've been playing together for a long time, so we have really good chemistry. Uh, I think we just bond really well. Like, we just all are good friends, and it really brings us together on the court, you can tell. We've been around the same guys for as long as I can even remember, playing basketball with them and just like hanging out on and off the court, so. Well, normally we'd have a lot of open gyms, but since COVID, we've like, when the gym was available, we've been going in there in the weight room. Yeah, we've been having the open gyms and weight room and some of the guys got together and we played a couple tournaments. A lot of AAU ball together. Uh, like 10 of us have gone nearly every weekend, just played against some of the best guys we can play. It's been good. Yeah, we've done a lot of AAU ball and we've done some lifting and open gyms, just. <laughs> Just like practice wise, we've been doing a little more in practice and like just um, it's kind of starting new, so just seeing what everyone's strengths is. And... I think it would just be a little different to kind of see how things go and hopefully we can get through the whole year. Uh, the cr not having a crowd will definitely take a toll on us. I think we're used to feeding off the energy from the crowd, but. I don't know, the bench will just help out a lot, just stay hyped. I'm just, you know, praying that we get a full season. It's true. <laughs> this doesn't take us out, but I mean, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So, just kind of playing it by ear. As a senior, um, I mean, we've had lots of great seasons in the past, so I'm really looking forward to a chance to actually be able to go out and wrestle, saying COVID doesn't end that for us, so yeah. Just the duels and just maybe just having a chance to wrestle and hopefully just have a season. Um, we have a lot of new faces. I definitely think we can, we have some good upperclassmen that are gonna perform really well under some pressure, but we're gonna build and we're gonna be creating a really good team for the years to come and I think that's one of our strengths because we're gonna have some people who are willing to try some new things and get some more experience so um, we have a lot of veterans and then we also have a lot of little, like, young guys on varsity so the, the veterans can uh, kind of coach up the younger guys and then we should be just strong all, all around um, I definitely say I've always said discipline um, Watch your weight, be smart, um, wrestle smart and aggressive, and really put the time in in the practice room and stay focused. I think if we can rein that in this year, we'll have one heck of a team. Uh, we can just go to practice every day and just work hard, and we just, every day just work harder than the day before. Um, I mean, I feel like I've grown quite a bit because I didn't start wrestling until seventh grade and the last few years, it's literally been my life. I love it, it's one of my favorite things ever. And I, my goal is to make, make it state and actually win a few matches this year. Last year was kind of a heartbreaker, so I really, really, really wanna make it this year. So yeah, just a lot of work put in. Well, I just, over the years, I was, I've been more of a leader. I've grown into that. And I've also been growing as more of a teacher and just teaching the younger kids how to, like, what to do and how to do it and just become a better teammate overall. Because of COVID, a lot of stuff I do in the summer gets canceled. I would have been going to the arena and wrestling, but because of some family members I have, my parents didn't want me going. So I wrestled with Jake Franks and Small. He's going to Northwestern to wrestle. I wrestled with him a few times. I uh, had a couple guys out because I have a mat in my shed and wrestled, and then I lifted like crazy and I ran like crazy in the off season to stay in shape and to get stronger. So.
just going to open mats and just working out a lot. Just when quarantine started, I'm in my own weight room, so just working out one to two times a day just helped a lot. Um, I just want to be able to lead the team the best I can to show up as a senior and really encourage the younger guys and give them something to look forward to and kind of make the experience the best for them so we can build our program and keep a good legacy going and to kind of build a culture that's going to be a successful one. You can, you can bring a difference so because I can just teach the younger kids what to do and just tell them like what I've learned in the past and just share my knowledge with them. I think the biggest thing is we're going to be successful as long as we stay healthy. If we have kids that get COVID or we have people who are out for quarantine, that's going to hurt us the most. Um, who knows what's going to happen? I mean, youth wrestling just got shut down last night. That was the last practice that I've helped coach this season. And I don't know if I'll get to help coach those kids again, which sucks because they're a really good group. And we're just going to have to take everything in stride and pray to God that we get to have a full season. It will affect it because we, we really don't know if we'll have a season yet, so just go in there every day and just, just hope we do have a season.